welcome to Mother's Union, uniting in seven days of prayer. I'm Bishop Rachel, I'm the Bishop of Gloucester, and I'm also the Anglican Bishop for Her Majesty's Prisons in England and Wales. We're marking the days between International Women's Day and Mothering Sunday with prayers which lift up women. The normal Mother's Union midday prayers will follow on after this. As Jesus Christ respected, trusted and revered women, so we act and pray for women's recognition, equality and empowerment throughout the world. Today's prayer is on the theme of women and gender-based violence, and this prayer comes from the Anglican Church of Australia. Let us pray. God bless you with insight to recognise violence in all its form and courage to name it, speaking out for justice. The Lord bless you with compassion for the vulnerable and grace to stand with them, sharing his strength. The Holy Spirit bless you with a prayerful heart and power to breathe peace, transforming the world. The blessing of the holy and gracious Trinity Eternal wisdom, living word, abiding spirit, be among you and remain with you always. Amen. And so we come to our midday prayers for Wednesday, where we continue the theme of fasting and feasting in Lent. And today we focus on truth. Fast from personal anxiety, feast on eternal truth. In this season of Lent, we fast from all which harms our soul and gladly feast on the blessings of God. When we are troubled by life's concerns, we seek the Lord for answers to deliver us from our fears. As we taste and see that the Lord is good, we are blessed by his protection and provision for our needs. As we gaze upon our Saviour and embrace the truth of his eternal love, may our lives reflect the glory of Christ. For earth and sky will pass away, but the word of God endures forever. Amen. His loving kindness is great towards us, and the truth of the Lord is everlasting. Praise the Lord. Psalm 117, verse 2. And so we come to our wave of prayer for Mother's Union. Lord, we pray for the witness and work of Mother's Union worldwide. And today we pray for our members in a weariel in South Sudan. For Mityana in Uganda. For Yuo and Ajahi Crowther in Nigeria. For Rupert's Land in Canada. And for Patna in India. And from our prayer diary, where the theme for the week is spiritual growth. Gracious God, give us wisdom to perceive and understand you and ourselves through the grace of your Holy Spirit, who is the Spirit of Truth. Amen. And so we finish with our blessing. As we feast on the blessings of God, May we grow in the grace and knowledge of Christ. To him be glory, both now and forever. Amen.